What is going on to you Taurus out there? I hope y'all are having a great day. So, for you Taurus, you have the, the Justice, the Ten of Cups, and you Taurus have the Fool card right here. So what I'm seeing here for you Taurus is um, okay. So the justice right here represents how um, a lot of you tours are very much so um, sticking to what it is that you tours pretty much already know. You tours are not going to allow anyone to guilt trip you out of um, doing things the way that other people would want you to. So there's definitely a sense of you tours um, redirecting your life how you associate with others and that other people are going to have to uh, respect you. And if they don't respect you, right, and the boundaries that you set when you say no to certain things, then you Taurus are just not going to take those people seriously. The reason why it is not saying that is because of the Ten of Cups. You Taurus are starting to understand that you do not have to say yes to everything. Just because you like somebody does not mean that you have to say yes to their stupid demands. You Taurus don't have to say yes to anything. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. Y'all are adults. And so because you Taurus are adults, this means that you Taurus have the right to say no. Not just the privilege, but you have the right to say no. Because all the times that you Taurus spent giving to other people and just you've just been accepting crap in return you've been getting crap in return people thought that they could give you this type of nonsensical behavior because for a while there that's what it is that you Taurus were willing to accept so now that you Taurus are not really willing to accept it anymore right the now it's like the the asking price has actually raised. Now it's people got to actually respect you. Otherwise, and, and actually stop wasting your time. Otherwise, you're not going to be spending your time, your attention, and your money on, on anyone that won't act like they're going to be a little bit more down to earth. Because see, it's not a waste of time if you're going out with someone and you're getting to know them and the two of you um, realize that the two of you do not have similar values but it is a waste of time when someone tries to act like they are one way and that they are presentable and that they're good right they're actually the good individual, right? When in actuality, they're really lying through their teeth. And all it is that they're really trying to do is look for their next unsuspecting victim for them to, for that person to take advantage of, use up and then throw away and then act and then move on to somebody else and act like they didn't know what happened. And you tourists have been allowing that for a very long time, you know? A lot of you Taurus will allow yourselves to get very attached to people sometimes who, who you really don't have any kind of business being attached to because you Taurus are known as the lovers of the Zodiac. So a lot of you Taurus will find yourselves in positions where sometimes you could really end up being in love with a person who is a complete ingrate a person who is totally disrespectful all they want to do is waste is they're just looking for somebody's time to waste and you tourists just basically again y'all just give yourselves over on a silver plate a silver plate a silver platter and you shouldn't go for that you shouldn't go for that at all and I'm glad to say that you Taurus are not going for it anymore. You actually are like, look, you know, 
before you actually start shelling out the Ten of Pentacles, right? Pentacles, the Ten of Cups better happen. You better make sure, you Taurus are gonna make sure that you're interested in, the per in them and they better make sure that they're interested in you because you, although you Taurus can't control people playing games with you, you Taurus can control the effort that you give to them so fast. You Taurus are definitely gonna control your emotional budget. Y'all are moving in, right? Y'all need to start moving in with like what it is that I call an emotional budget where, and, I, and I'm, I've talked about this, but I'm not so sure if I talked about this in a Taurus reading, where you go into situations with people and you give yourself a certain time limit of how much you wanna spend time really hanging out with them before you you come up with bubkiss or nothing. So an example of this is is if you Taurus are like, okay, y'all are saying to yourselves that you going you gonna talk to this person and go after this person for a month, right? 30 days. And if this person decides that they don't wanna, there's there's nothing happening. There's no milestones being crossed, right? The the numbers being exchanged, calls happening, hanging out getting to know each other, right? The ex, you know what I mean? The fun ex, if you know what I mean. If that ain't happening, right? If that if that's not happening, then you Taurus decide that you don't wanna interact with them anymore. That's what I mean when I say an emotional budget. It's understanding how much time you're willing to spend on a person to see if you and the person are compatible. And if the two of you turn out not to be compatible, where the person wants to waste your time or play games with you and anything like that, everything like that, then it's okay because you're not spending years, six months, a year on them. I remember myself, Taurus, knowing somebody who told me straight up that, that, I, that I was crazy and that I spent, um, when I when I when I was like, yo, I spent a month on this person or whatnot, trying to talk to them or whatnot. I remember somebody that I used to be cool with, or, or I guess I still am cool with them. Yeah, I guess you can say so. Talking about how it is that he was like, he he told me he was like, you didn't. He was like, you didn't spend a lot of time trying to talk to somebody. I spent six months. To, uh, no, he said he spent a year trying to talk to such and such or whatever the case may be. He's like, you didn't spend any time at all. You know, so, you know what I mean? This is what it is that I'm talking about. You, Taurus, need to set up an emotional budget. And the fool represents, if, and if it doesn't work out, then forget about it then, who cares? You're not, you are not supposed to go over your emotional budget. You are not supposed to spend an absorbent or crazy amounts of time trying to get to know somebody who is downright being a jerk. All it is that they want to do is just play hard to get. You're trying to get their number, they're telling you no. They're 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 problematic. Their attitude is problematic. They're super combative. You know what I mean? The way that they talk to you, the way that they move around you, it's like they want to start something, right? You, you, Taurus don't want that, especially since you, Taurus, you need peace. Taurus is a zodiac sign that, that, yo, you need your peace. You need a peaceful home. You need, this is why it is that y'all are ruled by Venus because, right, or peace, or, or, or Venus, right? But the planet that rules Venus as along with you is Libra. You need peace because, uh, because peace needs to be established before y'all go ahead and y'all call yourselves a relationship where y'all are committed peace has to be established first because you cannot have a dysfunctional individual 
where they think that creating the, the, the tension and how the two of you bond is by bickering and arguing. That's not, that, that ain't gonna go over well. That ain't gonna go over successfully. You understand? You Taurus are gonna need your peace. So the Three of Pentacles now represents how a lot of you Taurus are going out, hanging out with friends, and overall, very much so proud of your social circle. And the reason why a lot of you are proud of your social circle is because of the fact that you Taurus very much so, you're not, you, don't, you don't feel an ounce of stress anymore from your social circle whatsoever. You do not feel an ounce of stress. Sorry about that. You do not feel an ounce of stress whatsoever. Um, a lot of you Taurus have had the stress of how to impress people on your shoulders for a very long time. And a lot of you Taurus are starting to lift up that weight of, of you know, n wanting to impress someone, even if you like them. It's like, look, approach the person, talk to the person. If you and the person are not compatible, move forward with your life. Because, and I'm gonna get real deep here for a minute, right? A lot of people's problems, one of their big problems is vainglory, vanity, excess. Doing something that is a show of, 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 of like power when it's not, it's not, necessary it's wasteful that's because the definition of vainglory is wastefulness it's something that is that is that is it's tacky it's tasteless it's something that is like it's unnecessary doing you know it's 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 overdoing it you understand what i'm saying that's what that's what vainglory the etymology means, it means to overdo something, to be wasteful. So the thing is, is that a lot of people are dealing with, with vanity, vainglory or vanity. It's the same thing, you know, false pride, you know, excessive pride, which is false pride. You know, they have all this confidence in themselves and there's no real weight. There's no real value behind why they're so confident you know they, it's not like it's not like they have a talent for something and it's like their confidence comes from the fact that they're so talented at it and they're a student of the game not only are they talented but they also want to learn and keep learning as time go on and get better and and try different things and be as be as uh unafraid and experimentative as much as possible. No, that's not what you're dealing with. You're dealing with you, Taurus, do you have the King of Swords, which means that a lot of you are learning how to be a lot more brave with your own. See, I, see sometimes a lot of you, Taurus, can be quiet because a lot of y'all don't want the person to get too close. But a lot of you, Taurus, right, because you're you're still assessing the situation to find out if there's danger there. And a lot of you Taurus are now beginning, you're, you're beginning to wake up even more, even more to the realization that what are your strengths? What are your, what are the things that you had a problem with? What are your strengths and weaknesses that you had a problem with? And what are the things that you Taurus are doing to work on those strengths and weaknesses? And what I'm seeing here is the Page of Pentacles. Some of those strengths and weaknesses is a lot. The strength is a lot of you Taurus are are lovable. Y'all are the lovers of the zodiac, and y'all loyalty runs deep. But the but the the weakness is in you giving loyalty to weak, dysfunctional, indecent. Uh, 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 integralist individuals. So what is it that you Taurus are doing? The King of Wands. You Taurus are, are doing the spiritual, the mind and the heart work to be able to understand that you shouldn't be giving this loyalty to everybody. And that it's 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 
wise for you to be able to know whom you're putting your loyalty into. And how you're able to do that is by actually getting to know some people. And what I mean when I say some people, I'm specifically talking about the people who you're actually courting, dating, trying to get to know. The people that are going to have a stake or value in how you think. Friends, family, right? People that actually have weight, some sort of importance in the decisions that you make, the people that you are connected to, right? And also the people who you are romantically involved with because it adds another layer to it because those relationships, friends and family are, are platonic as to where romantic relationships are platonic too, but also have a layer of physical fun to it, if you know what I mean. So a lot of you Taurus are, oh, a lot of you Taurus are beginning, that's my cat down there, but a lot of you Taurus are beginning to wake up and realize that it's best for you Taurus to actually start um, realizing, you know, your lesson in that you shouldn't be placing so much of your trust in, in so many people. They don't owe you anything. They don't know you. They don't owe you anything as of yet. That comes later as you get to know them. For longer, that comes later. Until then, you, Taurus, have your emotional bank and how much you're willing to spend emotionally. Time and attention and all of that. So the Six of Pentacles represents, and you, Taurus, need to make sure <clears throat> that it's actually going right. The the Six of Pentacles and, and the Knight of Cups, I mean, you, Taurus, have to make sure that it's actually going the other way for them to you, meaning that make sure that it's not just a delusion that you, Taurus, are dealing with, where you're giving them all your attention, but they're not giving you any of their attention, time, they're not putting in any kind of effort, big or small, to get to know you whatsoever. Make sure that you're actually paying attention to anybody whom you're going to be out here talking to and really evaluate the situation. This is why this, I say it's a good idea for you not to talk to, to someone every single day. Because when you're talking to them, it's e it actually makes it easier for you to overlook um, the things that you shouldn't have missed because those people become a part of your social circle. You, you understand what I'm saying? And you start associating a person that you are potentially going to be romantic with long term, like you start talking to them so much to the point where you associate yourself with them so strongly to the point where they become literally a part of your life very soon than what it's supposed to be. Why? Because you talk to them every day. There's no kind of separation for you Taurus to actually be able to emotionally breathe to be like, you know what? Now that the time now is you ain't talk to you, you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gonna talk to them for two, three days a week. That gives you time to actually reflect upon the situation. You hanging out with the person more and more and more. Reserve that from when y'all are moving in together. You, you understand what I'm saying? Then you have all the time in the world because y'all are going to see each other every day, right? So, especially when y'all first starting out, see each other at a good amount. But the point that I'm trying to make here is, right, whichever amount works for you, but not every single day. Because, like I said, when you making this person a daily part of your life and this person isn't even a good match for you, when you separate yourself from them, when they start wilding out and you got to separate yourself from them, Taurus, it's going to be that much harder because you have made this person a daily routine. You understand what I'm saying? A part of your life. So you got to be like, I, right, 
you got to create some form of separation with them right not even a bad separation but a separation just so that you uh taurus can actually sit back and think and then you taurus have the devil card this is what i'm talking about this is where the triangulation begins because sometimes when you make these people a part of your life they don't even have to triangulate sometimes we end up ha we end up doing the work for them someone who's dysfunctional who's going to run game on you on you by uh, by triangulating ourselves where it's like we projecting this person as triangle as triangulation but in actuality they're not actually doing that we, they are allowing our minds our own minds to do the, the hard dirty work for us you dig what i'm saying F for them i should mean so that that way we end up triangulating ourselves because we talk to them every day you see what i'm saying so because of the fact that we have made these people an integral part of our lives like our like our family that we see every day or whatever then when this person gives us problems it hurts that much more because we start thinking to ourselves like okay you know you Taurus will start thinking to yourselves like okay like you know what i'm saying like like how come this hurts it hurts because you've made this person and like the same place that you would with your family members right that you related to because you see them so often you see them you talk to them a lot this person has become a pivotal part of your life so just you know and and because of this right because of this it makes you too rigid when it comes to being you know it makes you too rigid when it comes to you know when they do if and when according to who they are when they do start to run that type of game on you okay so let's clarify the six of pentacles and let's get out of here you have the eight of pentacles the fool the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and then you have the World card to clarify the Six of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles and the Fool represents when you have burnt out your emotional or you have ran out on your emotional bank, do not overdraft that bank. <laughs> do not overdraft that. The Because the Eight of Swords represents you're going to be upset at yourself later if you do. Okay, so I'm not seeing, I'm not necessarily seeing that you, that anyone has caught you Taurus's eye that, is, that stands out to be special. But what I am seeing is that you Taurus are open to getting to know new people. And that you may even be trying to get to know new people actively, right? And the thing is, is that the nine of uh, cups in the world represents, there's a lot of people who can't see there's a lot of people who, let's, let me just say what it is there's a lot of people who are not level headed they only look up they're not looking at their they're, they're not looking at their level where you know what I mean where they are on the horizontal plane they're only looking vertically so pay attention to anyone who is coming into your life right now and who acts like they got a lot going on but then that but you know they got it. They got an extremely expensive taste. Pay attention to that. Peace.